Hey, what is up guys? Travis here. I'm um, bringing you another video of something I've actually never done before in my life. Um, as you can see by the title, uh, the title of the game is Sakura Beach. Um, it's basically a Japanese dating simulator. I've never played one of these ever before in my life. I really have no idea what to expect um but i've just been searching around like youtube for like lower end youtubers and it seems like a lot of them play games kind of like these so i was like you know what why not me like why not me guys so without anything else uh let's get into this and i hope you enjoy well i know you're gonna enjoy because hey it's me so let's get into this start oh there's gonna be a lot of reading here I am again, drifting through the stars, nebulas, galaxies, and black holes rushing past me in a blur. This is where I spent most of my, most of my time, with my mind wandering through space. It's here that I try to understand what I could never hope to understand. A universe that is so vast that it is beyond human comprehension. It cannot be measured by any means we have right now. Just seeing the sun and the moon circle around our planet is enough to leave me in awe. They both circle around the earth according to, in according to invisible forces which are immeasurably powerful. That is the miracle of existence. Everything we see is made from a random sequence of events which have been flowing into each other. It has been this way ever since the beginning of time. Alright guys, don't fucking judge me on my reading. Okay. But for now, the random sequences of disasters is leading, is leading me into a disaster. Stop daydreaming, idiot. I hope that's a, I hope that's a girl voice. It better prepare, I'd, I don't know, I'd better prepare myself for another sc scolding. Oh, hey, 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 girl, what's up? Ayumi, what's up, girl? All right, uh, why do you keep doing this? Even now you're doing it. We still have so many, so many bags to move up to this hotel room. You honestly don't expect me to do this by myself, do you? Well, I mean, women empowerment, like, if you can do it by yourself, I don't have to help you. Equality, guys. Uh, Yumi has always been so bossy. So far, she's far too proud for her own good. Yeah, sometimes that's not a good thing, guys. Does she actually like me as a person or not? I don't get it. Well, dude, you better find that out quick. God. Seiji? Seiji? Alright. Sorry, I'll... Alright, is that who I am? Alright, I, I guess I'm Seiji. Sorry, I'll do... Uh, I'll go do that right away. Ayumi. Uh, you better, you've, you've only been standing there for a few minutes with your head in the clouds. My head does get a bit further than the clouds, Ayumi. Of course. How could I forget about space? I guess I have a thing about space, I guess. Alright, whatever. Just hurry up. God, you're bossy, bitch. Oh, hey, Momoko. What's up, girl? Hey. Alright. Come on, Ayumi. Stop bullying him. I like her. Alright. He's such a good boy after all. I know. Don't you think he deserves a thank you for getting all the bags up here? I do. Like, I work so hard, guys. Come on. Uh, of course. It is admirable. It's admirable effort. I give him that. But I'm not bullying him. He's standing there like a statue when we should be moving. You know, he likes daydreaming. Who doesn't like daydreaming? All right. It's not daydreaming. I'm pondering on the mysteries of the universe. Uh, yeah, nerd. Ah, wait, what, what was that button? Uh, no, don't right click, guys. All right. Uh, you're so adorable when you talk about that, CG, CG. Fuck. All right, I don't even know my own name, guys. I swear, you always protest in the same way you always do. Some part of me dies a little bit every time she calls me adorable. Aww. It's more like I'm. Uh, what? 
It's more like I'm a fluffy little dog than a person to her. All right, so there's the girl in the pink who I'm like a little tiny puppy dog. And then the girl on the left who's just a bitch and I'm not even a person to her. All right, Ayumi. That's her name, Ayumi. He's not adorable. He looks like an idiot. Thank you. Come on, Ayumi. You know that you like it when he does that. Oh, yeah. I most certainly do not thank you. Then why do you wait for a minute or two before calling him out on it? N no reason. I just wanted to see if he... Uh, I just want to see if he's learned to not do that by now. I'm sure that... I'm sure that's the reason, Ayumi. I'm sure. So, have you gotten all the bags yet, si Saiji? Fucking hell! Not yet. I'll do that right now. Thank you. I know it's a big favor to ask for. Don't worry about it. Anything for you, Momoko. You're always so nice, Saiji. I know I am. I promise I'll make it up to you by doing the... Alright, I'll promise I'll make it up to you during this trip. Okay, what is all that? Go away, go away, everything right there. You're blocking the good picture! Alright, I know she'll make it up to me somehow. I can't wait. Please, please, I already told you not wor not to worry about it. It's it's not such a big deal. It's Well, I mean, it's not. Like, it's just going to grab bags, but... If she wants to make it up to me, who who am I to stop her? That makes her pout. Aw. Come on, don't don't you want to do something fun with me? How about ice cream like we used to do? Or used to? Uh, yeah. It'll be my treat. I wouldn't mind. Don't forget that I have... Alright, what? I feel like my voice is cracked. Alright. Don't forget that I have somewhere to to go to, Saiji. God, Ayumi, you fucking mess up everything, you big cock block. You're not going to get out of, out of it so easily. Alright, alright, Ayumi. I'm sure I'll have to go with both of you. They're always pulling me and pulling me to go somewhere. Oh, at least they're pulling me. Ayumi mostly uses me as a pack horse to carry things. As for Momoko, she always drags me to do embarrassing things with her. Not in not in that sense though. Um, whenever she wants to buy me buy new lingerie, I'm the first person she drags along. Yes. Oh my god, burp. Alright. Oh, I should have I brought some to drink. Alright, my throat's getting dry. Uh, I have no idea why. It's almost like she has no sense of shame. Well, I mean, girls like that are the best. Alright. This music is pretty good too. Like, I like it. Alright. The looks I get every time it happens makes me die a little bit inside. Oh, Momoko. Let's not rush off to do anything just yet. I know we have to settle in and everything first. By the way, Saiji, I know you're going to love my swimsuit. Oh, uh, yes, let's see it. I have a bad feeling about this. I just know she's going to showing off as much skin as possible. What about you, Ayumi? How do you think you do you did with your swimsuit? Um, what do you mean? Come on, we spent qu quiet. There's no need to talk about that. Is there something I should know? No, no, of course not. My my swimsuit will be very dignified. Something to be proud of. That's not what I remember seeing, ho. <laughs> oh! She slapped. Ayumi moved faster than a flash of lightning, preventing Momoka from speaking. Don't go there, okay? I have a reputation to uphold. Are, are you secretly a slut, Ayuki? Come on. Anyway, I really need to grab those bags now. You too. Just do whatever you do. Make sure you grab my clo clothing bags first. M mine too. How am I supposed to tell which bag is which? Oh well, maybe if I just grab all of them at once. That might work. Alright. I, I kind of like this so far. I, it, it's, it's a bit weird, but I'm kind of into it. Oh, is this my bedroom? This is be better than the bedroom I have right now. Fuck. It takes me about half an hour to get all the bags back to our room. It's not exactly unfit, but going up and down the sta- Alright, I'm not exactly unfit, but going up and down the stairs with such heavy bags, my legs feel like they're going to snap in half if I put any weight 
any more weight on them. Neither of them helped with the bags, but I'm not worried about it. I always do my friends favors. I've known both of them for such a long time. It's funny how time just passes without you even noticing. One day, I was only meeting those two for the first time. Now, already a decade later, here, we're here. Oh my god. It's only really now that I've given it any thought. I guess we humans aren't a very com contemplative species. Fuck. Alright guys, please don't judge me. I actually read very well. It's just reading out loud is not my thing. All right. It's all about here and it's all about the here and now, not the past or the future. I don't really plan to sit in the hotel room and waste all my time thinking about the past either. There's plenty of time for that when I get home. Ayumi and Momoko have claimed the large bedroom, leaving me with the tiny bedroom the, in the corner. This is a nice fucking bedroom. It's probably bigger than the bedroom I have right now. Fuck, don't complain, dude. All right. They insisted that they had to share a room together and that the other bedroom wasn't suitable. The two of them have been inseparable for as long as I could remember. I guess when you're together for that long, you get used to each other's company. What I'm really hoping for is to share a lot of moments with them on this trip. Uh, yeah, what kind of moments, dude? Hey, hey. All right. Uh, there's nothing more value. All right. There's nothing more value that. What? There's nothing more value that memories created with the people that you care about most. On another note, I can't help but notice how quiet it is. Are they even in their room? Hello, anyone? I knock on the door several times. There's no response at all. Did they already leave the apartment? Why? All right. Why would they leave without me though? Ayumi, Momoko, are either of you here? There? I don't know. I begin to open the door. I really, I'm really worried that I might not find them. Oh, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, okay. Well, I found them. Yeah, of course you did, dude. Whoa. Momoko stares back at me in horror. All right, lying there in nothing but her panties and bra. Her eyes go wide with in shock. <laughs> Saiji, what on earth are you doing? She reaches for a nearby pillow and clutches it to her chest. But it has the opposite effect of what she intended. It only causes her chest to spill over the top of it, nearly to the point of making it escape from the confines of her bra. Oh my god. I'm so glad my girlfriend's not in here. No, stupid per perverted pillow. I like that pillow. She tosses it, tosses it at me. That pillow is going away too fast. I barely duck in time looking back at where the pillow hit. A massive crack in the wall shows where the pillow struck. Holy fuck, she has a good arm. All right. For a moment, a cold chill goes down my spine. If that had hit me, I All right, if that had hit me, I would have died. Holy shit, she almost murdered me. Fucking bitch, Momoka, I thought you were cool. All right. No, I can't think about that now. Defuse the situation, Saiji. I I Sorry, please forgive me. This is a horrible misunderstanding. Saiji, this is so embarrassing. Well, I don't know about that. Well, maybe for you it's embarrassing. Alright. Don't look at me with those perverted eyes. I'm sorry. God. I don't think I'm going to be able to handle it. My virtue as a maiden has been taken from me. What? Alright. How can you live with yourself knowing this, Saiji? Don't you think that's a bit dramatic? I, well, I mean, she's a fucking girl. All girls are dramatic, dude. Duh. I think that only mis makes things worse. As she flails around trying to find something to cover herself, I hear something go snap. Oh no, please don't tell me. Her bra falls away from her chest. <laughs> it seems to all happen in slow motion. <laughs> the bouncing that happens in response. The gradual, or the, whatever that word, means fuck all right guys i read good i i do good grammar all right the whatever look of horror overtaking her face and the sinking feeling knowing that i'm not going to live to see another day her face screws up all right her face screws up as she prepares to unleash a cry of despair no yes 
Don't look! Don't you dare look! Pure thoughts. Momoka immediately palms ch palm chests into her... Alright, palms chest into her hands. But it's too late. Out! Now! You need to get out now! With one arm, she grabs another pillow and aims it directly at my head. I'm too slow this time. Oh my god, it hit me. It hits me with enough force to easily make someone's skull crack. The impact sends me flying out of the room. Before I know it, my vision fades into blackness. Whoa! Okay, this is getting exciting, guys. Ugh. Hey, how did I get here? I came, I came to after a while with the worst headache I've ever had. Momoko is a lot stronger than she looks. She could have probably killed me if she wanted to. I know that it looked bad, but she doesn't have to assault me over it. How long have I been out for, actually? Surely they've finished. All right, they'd be finished dressing by now. Also, she cautiously. All right, all, all so cautiously, I knock on their bedroom door. A cheerful, bright voice responds. Who is it? I can't. I can't do girl voices, guys. I'm sorry. Come on, you know who it is. No, no, you aren't who I think you are. The person I knew would have would just charge in without knocking first. He's such a silly person. But that's what makes him so adorable. Very funny. So are you two dressed yet? Are you ready to head to the beach? Maybe. What would you, what would you prefer? Maybe you'd like me to show up only in my panties. Uh. Uh. This is, oh my god. Alright, that's not the case at all. I'm sure it isn't, silly. I just know she's pout. Alright, all right. what? Alright, I just know she's pouting like she usually does, even though she's hiding behind her bedroom door. Typically, alright, typical. He's saying that he, just to pretend that he wasn't being perverted before. Shut up, Ayumi. Momoko steps out of the bedroom. She's already in her swimsuit, ready to head down to the beach immediately. Ayumi, are you ready to go? There's no response from her. Ayumi, come on, I know you're out You're out there. Is she hiding from me? There's no need to be embarrassed, Ayumi. Come on, show yourself off. Eh, could be better. Meekly, Ayumi crawls out from her hiding spot on the balcony. She's also dressed in her swimsuit. Her face could have couldn't be a brighter shade of red there she is all ready for the beach she looks cute doesn't she eh. I have to admit when she didn't have her nose up in the air she could really look cute really all right whatever how, how do I look Saiji do you like my swimsuit but it's not as if I care about your opinion I'm just curious yeah, right, bitch. Why, why else would you ask? I'm a bit taken I'm a bit taken aback when she asked me that. Normally, she doesn't care what I think at all. All right, you like you look cute. Ah, uh, duh. My mom, uh, uh, I'm uh, I, I, I let's be nice. Well, do you think I'm ugly? What? Is that what you're trying to say? What? Uh, I haven't even said anything. Oh my god, bitch. You look fine, really. You do. I think you look cute. You you really think so, Saiji? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. You look good. So don't worry about it, okay? Don't forget about me. Do you, do I look good too? Momoko never misses an opportunity. Yes, you you too. I'm sure you're going to attract a lot of attention. Yeah. All right. You might be a nice guy out. All right. There might be a nice guy out who will real who, oh, notice you. Yeah, fucking hell. Both of their faces turn extremely sour. They just look at me with contempt. What? What did I say? Did I do something to offend you both? All right. Was there something that I missed here? Um, you two. What are you making those faces? Neither of them respond. Girls, you two. Hello. They just stare at me. Sorry, I said something to offend you. I have no idea what it could be, though. Momoko stops being sour and smiles at me. Momoko's so nice. Ayumi, on the other hand, she ah, oh, she's a stuck-up bitch. Apology accepted. 
Come on, Ayumi. You've got to forgive him, too. I forgive you, stupid. Thank you. That hardly s sounded sincere for to me. Oh, well, Ayumi always always was it the grumpy one. Now then, we're wasting time standing here. Especially you, silly. Today is not going to be a day spent in space. What do you mean? I don't daydream when I'm at the beach. As enticing as thinking about space while listening to Ocean would be. No, no, I'd better not tempt myself. Momoko seems to be reading my thoughts on the matter. There you go. Your head's somewhere near the moon right now. Make sure you grab a space rock on the way back to Earth. Asteroid. You you know what I mean, silly. God, Sachi's kind of a kind of a dick himself. Damn. All right, grab one big enough to keep you from drifting off the surface of our planet. Don't worry, I wasn't planning to anyway. Good. Well, see about that, Mr. Daydreamer. I know that villainous scam. All right, I know that villainous scum like you always break their promises. Fuck. All right. Ayumi, not all guys lie, okay? God. Isn't it a bit harsh to deem me villainous scum? Not after what you did to Momoka before. It was an accident, okay? So, let, let's not waste any more time. Bring that sunscreen and let's head to the beach. Before I can even say anything, Momoko already out. Momoko's already out of the room. It's just me and Ayumi standing here awkwardly. You, you know... When I call you idiot all the time, um, I don't really mean it. You know that, right? You're not actually dumb. I think you're pretty smart, really. Aw, I think she has a crush on me. All, like, whenever a bitch is mean to the guy, she has a crush on him. It's okay, Ayumi. I actually think I can be pretty dumb sometimes. I let out an awkward laugh. It's all, it's all right to call me out on it now and then. I know that I let my thoughts wander. She might not seem like it, but Ayumi is actually really nice. For whatever reason, she tries not to act like it. Sh should we get going now, please? Sure. You two are so slow. Hurry up already. We're going to miss the beach if you stay in that hotel room forever. Well, it looks like I can't aff All right. I can't afford to stand here any longer. Time to go enjoy the beach, I suppose. Ayumi is out of the door before I am. Alright, um, so far it seems pretty good. Um, so I'm going to save right here. And I think that we are going to save this. Save the next part for the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed, please go drop a like uh, and comment what you liked about the video. Um, and if you haven't before, then go ahead and click, uh, click that subscribe button. Uh, to stay tuned for the next episode if you enjoyed this. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.